It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I already made this video entirely in Spanish, so I figure why not make this video in English for everybody else to understand me. Now, when I was 14 years old, I was always fascinated by Spanish. And my fascination started with a video game called like Resident Evil 4. In the video game, you can play as a person named Leon S. Kennedy, and there's like a lot of zombies in Spain, and you have to shoot the zombies with your firearms and so on. And so, when I first heard this news for the first time, I could not believe what I read, because Spanish is something that's very important to me. It actually changed my life to talk to people from Latin America and from Spain is just mind-blowing. However, it seems as though that Spain, the home of the Spanish language, does not want to have Spanish as the official language. Now, there are three things on my mind when I first heard about this news. The first thing, of course, is that Spanish is an important part of the Spanish identity. Like, for me, of course, like, there's like a lot of Spanish speakers across the world. There's, of course, Spain. There's like the entirety of Latin America. For my country, Spanish is the second most spoken language. About 12% of the population can speak it, while the most of us could actually speak English. However, it seems as though, like, the first thing that I think about Spain is basically the language. Like, for example, when I think about French, I think about the French language. When I think about German, I think about Germany. When I think about Russian, I think about Russia. So, why shouldn't, like, Spain not have Spanish as part of the official language. That to me does not make any sort of sense whatsoever. Another argument that I hear all the time from like the separatists who were supporting this bill to be against Spanish as the official language is the idea that there will be no coexistence of the coexisting languages in Spain. Now, of course, everybody knows that Spain is home of Spanish, but there's also different other languages too. There's, of course, the Catalan language, which is spoken in Catalonia. There's also Vasco. I can't remember the name in English, but it's called Vasco. And, of course, there's these other kind of many languages across Spain. And, of course, they teach the language in Spanish, as well as the other language in school. So, for example, in Catalonia, they have, like, uh, Spanish, and they will also have Catalan. For, uh, pa like, Pais Vasco, that has, like, uh, Vasco and Spanish as well as part of the um, languages there. And so the argument is that um, they want to get rid of the coexisting languages, but that's not true. That is not true in the slightest. According to the Spanish Constitution, it basically says that, of course, Spanish is the official languages, however, the coexisting languages are also official in those, in those kind of communities. And so it seems still to me that they're fighting over spilt milk because obviously is existing across like, you know, schools for the other co-official languages. And also it's kind of funny to me, very ironic that Spain is going against its own language because it seems as though my country has more respect for Spanish than Spain right now because we have like Telemundo and Univision we have of course these other type of like um, bilingual science in some places like English and Spanish we have of course the call centers in English and Spanish we have like emergency services in English and Spanish so it's kind of funny to me at least how basically like we we treating Spain like Spanish way more better than an actual country. It's just so bizarre and it's just so weird to me. Just all of it is just so weird. However, another thing that's kind of weird to me is also how Spain, like Spanish people, they don't actually have some sort of pride and don't are not proud of their country. Now, I talked to like a lot of Spaniards. They tell me that um, basically a lot of people look down on like the Spanish flag because basically they, um, because of what happened during the Civil War with Franco. And obviously like the culture here is so different. Like basically we have the American flag at the stadium. We have the American flag at the um, 
churches, we have it like at buildings, whatever kind of event we have like the American flag. And so it seems as though that in Spanish culture, like the flag is actually looked down and compared to what we have here because of the history with the Civil War. However, I think more Spanish should actually be like more proud of their history because there's like a lot of cool history for Spain. And so it seems as though by attacking the Spanish language as the official language for Spain is actually an attack against the culture of Spain as well. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.